and improving the reading skills of students in under-resourced communities is the mission behind organizations like Augustine Literacy Project. This morning, we're joined by Steve Hall, the executive director of Augustine Literacy Project of Charlotte. Thanks for being here this morning. My pleasure. So for those who are not familiar with ALP, tell us a little bit about what the work that you do in the community. Yeah, so ALP was started in Charlotte in 2005, and what really makes us unique is that we use volunteer tutors that are highly trained in our system to deliver intervention services to CMS first, second, and third graders predominantly. Absolutely, and so that one-on-one -on -one interaction is really critical. Do we have a literacy crisis in our community? Yeah, we absolutely do, and you can see it by the goals that CMS has uh, for the coming years. Uh, one of those goals is to have 50% um, children ready for college and career readiness. Right now that number sits at 30 and actually drops to 20% for children of color. And so, you know, what is it about that one-on-one -on -one interaction that just really helps the students to be more confident in their reading, writing, and spelling skills? Yeah, and that's what's really fascinating is that, yes, we're there for literacy, but also there for hope. And so for a five-year-old or a six-year-old to be having one-on-one -on -one contact, just like you and I are right now, is incredibly inspiring to them. And not only during that tutoring time, but when they travel back to the classroom, just giving that hope and that confidence that someone's believing and listening to them. And the research really shows that what you guys are doing is working. Can you kind of explain some of that to us? Yeah, so there's national research that shows one-on-one -on -one tutoring works, but then we've also commissioned studies with UNC Charlotte that shows that ALP specifically produces great gains and recovery growth in early literacy. So we're very excited about those results. And so how does it work? A volunteer is assigned to a student and are they with them for the whole school year or how exactly does that, does that happen? Yeah, so that's where that commitment really kicks in because we do have a big problem, but we need a big commitment. But yes, they are assigned to a child. They work at least a school year with that child twice a week for an hour. We have virtual and in-person options as well. And so we're really excited about the growth that we've had and the growth that we need to achieve here in the future. So you can go to a school or if it's more convenient for you, uh, you, can, you there are virtual options. Absolutely, absolutely. And how are the schools decided? So what we do is we, we work with Title I schools, and then beyond that, what we're really looking for is we're looking for our partnership with CMS to continue to develop. So we're looking for innovative entrepreneurial principals that really want to bring outside research for the community and make a difference in their child's lives. So if someone at home is watching this and wants to learn more or is moved to, you know, action, what can they do? What I would do is suggest going to alpcharlotte.org. We have a Rise and Read on March 27th. You'll hear from community leaders. You'll hear from Dr. Hill as well about the effectiveness of ALP and what we can do together as a community. So that's what I'd really recommend doing. Absolutely. Such important work. And I imagine it's also really rewarding to see the difference that you're making in these kids' lives. Yeah, it's absolutely rewarding. It's also rewarding to see the tutors and people in the community, someone like your mother specifically, <laughs> who we're going to be profiling in our Rise and Read and the difference she's made, but also the difference she's experienced herself. Absolutely. I will say that my mom has told me how impactful it's been. So really awesome for these kids to get this one-on-one -on -one interaction and for, you know, the adults who are involved. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you.